Okay, what's this? This is an Android project. Here are some facets of the device that have been defined in here. There's binary inputs, binary outputs, linear ins and outs. And here's some corresponding definitions of digital ins and outs, analogs in, ins and outs on the device. Now these facets will be communicating over MQTT. We have a little Raspberry Pi over here that's running MQTT. It will be running a bunch of other services. It's also advertising the fact it's running that over ZeroConf or in the Apple world known as Bonjour. And there it is. Oh, and there it is sitting there. Mosquito MQTT server on Raspberry Pi. So that's popped up on this browser. Now this version of the Android firmware does not have Bonjour enabled. I'm going to install that on on this little thing here. It's called the Ether Mega. That should be capable. Um, it just sort of loads out this one here. This is a an Arduino with Ethernet and a little sort of uh, working board there. I've got a, a light meter input here and just an LED output. So the LED output is wide up to, to say there, D9. Uh, D9 up here and the code is in here, sorry. Uh, digital 9 output. That's the second one there, which is binary input facet to this device and the light meter is um, is on analog 2 which is linear output now over here I've got some terminals um, this one is oh, let me get the mouse over that one This one will be running, uh, it will be subscribing to Mosquito, I don't know if you can see that, so it will be subscribing to the, no, totally blurry, um, subscribing to the MQTT service in meme slash wildcard, listening for meme events, so running that at the moment, what I will do is reset, so just click the reset button on this. We'll watch what happens here. It's just advertised itself. Yeah, I wish you could read that. It says uh, meme registry, the meme's been added and lifecycle state ready. Yeah, it's already given us a linear output value of 124. It's sort of cleared up now, that's good. And this is the serial output there. It's just some debugging code which you can't see. In this, so what we'll do to send an input um, on the input facet of this device um, which ends up triggering a digital output hang on we'll be in this window be sending a, a value of true oh come on come on to that meme path the meme path meme id is all x's it's really unclear, isn't it? So I'm sending that to the MQTT server and that will get picked up by this device. So I'm sending a value of true. Now that's turned the light off. We've got a value coming up here in the monitoring one as well. So what if I send a value of um, false? Ready, set, boom. There, yeah, light's gone off. Now, um, on the other end of things, uh, we should get status updates on this subscriber of the MQTT service. Um, if we adjust the light levels in here, so let's grab this torch. We'll, sh um, we'll shine it on that and we'll watch what happens up here. Let me do that. Okay light levels, lots of light levels, linear output, 
Give me an output one and zero. Interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, that is state of play here. I'm uploading this to GitHub. Um, where is it? It's GitHub. I'll send you the details. Um, but yeah, pretty exciting to see MQTT at work and. Um, Man, you, you, it's a pretty good way to sort of um, debug messages going around as well. Like you can just sort of subscribe to various different things and, and just watch messages go through. It's it's quite quite interesting. So um, yeah, this is my first little device with actual real input and output on it. A little light and a little light sensor. Goodbye.